So we got to try to determine which way that wire went in. So if you pry up on it, or if you look at it, if it doesn't have that rubber on the end of it. So I can see that this wire is going in the counterclockwise. So this one I'm going to turn clockwise to get it out of there. You see the wire come rolling up out of here? When you get to the end, there will be a little pin that holds it in there. This little pin right here is what holds it in there. Once that's out, then you can tap the end of that right off of there. O-rings being a little bit stubborn. Catch that oil in that bucket down there. So coming off of here, the first one is an O-ring. The second one is a backup ring. And that's all that's there. So you just get this all cleaned up and put your new seals on here. Clean out those little holes where the pin anchors. And we'll do the same thing on the other end. We'll take the head gland end off and uh, pull the barrel right out of there. Move you over here a little bit and see if you can see this any better from here. So pry up on this and see which way it's which way that wire is going. So you know which way to take it apart. If they don't want to come out, you can always tap on the barrel a little bit, put penetrating oil in it. There it comes, see it? Watch it walk out. When I turn the head gland, you watch the wire walk out of there. You get to the end of the wire, you pull it right out, you see the pin that was holding it in. A lot of times when you get these cylinders like this, sometimes this is a flat wire, sometimes it's round. It's always usually has a bent dog on the end of it. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to bend that little dog on the end of there. Sometimes they come in long lengths where you have to cut it off. Once you get to the end, you'll still have it coming all the way around and it won't go any farther because this wire is too long. Then you got to cut off that excess wire. A lot of times you'll see where somebody has taken a piece of, looks like aluminum foil, and they'll cover that hole with a piece of aluminum foil to help keep moisture, dirt, and debris out of there. So if you can't find it, just get you a pocket knife and shave off that looks like aluminum foil and you'll find the hole where that wire is inside of there. Once you get that off, tap on that head gland a little bit. Try to turn it at the same time. Get ready to catch some oil. So there you have it. Now we'll go in here and we'll clean up this barrel. Get rid of the rust and everything. I like using a little flap wheel. Just very lightly go in there and clean up that groove. Clean up any kind of rust and dirt. Then wipe that barrel clean. And we'll be ready to put it back together again. So this type of cylinder is a little different than the other cylinders that I've shown you. 
I call this cylinder a wind wire because it actually takes a wire and it winds itself around the head gland and the end plate and the cylinder itself is a see-through cylinder. Some of them have a wire on one end, some of them have a wire on both ends. This is an implement cylinder. Uh, I don't know, I don't think much of them, but uh, anyhow, we're going to go through it here real quick and we're going to put in a new U cup, a new seal, and then we're going to assemble it real fast like. Put a new piston seal, it's got a two piece piston seal. We're going to warm that up and put that in. We might as well start with it right now. So the expander goes on first. And then we'll take and we'll get a heat gun and we'll warm this one up and we'll stretch it over the top of that piston. And then the end plates, we have a backup ring, goes on first, O-ring goes on second. On both ends. So, you want to get your little pick and make sure you get them on there nice and straight and that something's not twisted up. Or your pocket knife, either one. This one here's got a little, needs a little straightening out. Just run your finger around it and make sure it's good and flat, which it is. So. Next thing we'd do with that, we'd put a little lube on there when we get ready to put it together. So the other end plate, put a backup ring on. You remember that a backup ring raises the pressure of an O-ring by a thousand PSI. Get it on there and get it flattened out. Set your O-ring on there. Make sure it's straight. Make sure the O-ring's not twisted. And that it's laying down in the groove the way it belongs, like that. So those two are done. Now we have a U cup. It goes down in the first crevice. You remember that the U, the open part of it, goes down. Set him in there. This is a real soft U cup. You don't need a U cup tool. It'll go in there by hand. Just make sure that he's laying in there real nice and flat the way he's supposed to, just like that. The Wiper ring is a metal back wiper ring, so we'll put a little bit of red silicone or a little red uh, Loctite on there. We'll tap him down in there. There's one more that's hidden here is on the inside of this piston where it goes onto the shaft. It's got an O-ring. Change that, put a new O-ring in there. Just like that. So I'll get this tapped in, I'll get that tapped in, I'll put get this put on here real quick. Warm it up until you can't hardly hold on to it with your fingers anymore, and then that's about right. Keep turning it as you go so you don't get it too hot in one spot. doesn't take very long. Set it in a groove and then work it around there with your fingers real easy like. Just like that. And then it'll shrink up and go right back into its original position there. Sometimes it doesn't hurt if you take a plastic tie strap. I'll run a plastic tie strap around there and tighten it down. And it kind of speeds up the process of shrinking that up for you. So the only thing we have to do now is we'll put this in with some uh, red Loctite real quick. It tries to stay there and it doesn't try to 
uh, walk out. That's the thing. A lot of times you'll see them slide up the shaft of a cylinder and after that they're ruined. If you just put a little bit of Loctite on there where they stay in there, then you won't have that problem. Make sure it sits in there flat. Wipe off that excess Loctite. Just like that. So we're going to clean the inside of the barrel real quick. And uh, we're going to lube all this with, I like to use white lithium lube. And then we'll go over here and we'll put the shaft on the head gland. We'll have to move the camera here real quick. So we'll lube the inside of this barrel a little bit. We'll lube the piston a little bit. into this barrel has got a little taper in it the butt into this barrel does not pretty good fit pretty good fit so now we're gonna get our head gland stuck in here we've got it all lubricated up tap it into place And then we'll stick our wind wire in there. And we'll wind it up. back so you can get a little better That's the name of that. Now we'll get the other end down here. So when you take it apart, always mark the top and the top and the top and the top so that you know where to put them back on at. I put this one back in, I wound it back in there. Now we're going to wind the tail section back in there. But uh, always mark like that little blue paint right there that's telling me that they're all in alignment so when I put them back in some of these have multiple different holes for that wire to go into so like this one has four different holes to start it but when you end up here's your new wire and when you end up you want to make sure you end up so that everything is in time with the front and the back of the cylinder so we're going to put this one in here real quick. Tap the end of the cylinder in there. Sometimes they fit loose, sometimes they fit tight. So you see this little hook in the wire right here. That's where we're going to start at. We're going to set it in there and then we're going to start winding it.
once it gets all the way in there, we're going to tap that piece down. Sometimes they don't have that rubber on there. Sometimes the only thing you see sticking out of there is just a little piece of a wire. And then you have to figure out, is it going in this way or is it going in that way so you know which way to turn the barrel. But that's all there is to it right there. So now everything's in alignment. It's back in time again. It's all assembled again. It's ready to put back on. That was one of them.